Hi, I'm Julia Sell. I'm Sharifa Danish from the movie Dara, and you're watching Razor TV. <laughs> Recently, Singapore films have been getting more and more violent. Last month, Blood Ties shocked audience with its blood and gore. Now, a new film produced by Eric Koo and Mike Wilwan is set to push that envelope even further. Slasher movies, with its gory scenes of murder and violence, have long been a staple in American movies. It first became popular in the late 70s with Halloween and Friday the 13th, and continued to thrive in films such as Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream. In recent years, a new subgenre called torture porn was born with films like Saw and Hostel gleefully depicting torture and dismemberment. Thirty years since the slasher movie made headway in Hollywood, Singapore feature films are slowly starting to feature hyper-violent scenes. 2004's Perth by Jin had a bloody finale. The recent Blood Ties by Chai Yi Wei is particularly memorable for its raw violence. And now Dara, the new Indonesian slasher film produced by Singapore filmmakers Eric Koo, James Toh and Mike Wilwan also boasts plenty of blood and gore. But are Singaporean filmmakers simply importing an American genre into Asian cinema? And how will Singapore and Indonesian audiences take to Dara? What would you say to possible criticism that you're trying to export essentially a Western genre mm. into the Asian market? Well, you know, I think Asia, you know, has really been so sort of, um, uh, how you say it, I mean, involved uh, as an audience watching American style type films that they will just watch something like that and say, hey, you know, we can relate to it. And I think that's one of the good things about this film that you could sell it outside because of the way it's told, you yes. know. What we have now is a new wave of horror, right? Is horror that knows no bounds uh, visually, right? And we want to give people that type of horror, the slasher, the gore. And, you know, you don't want to cut back on that because generally from Southeast Asia, there's very little of that has been produced. And in particular, Indonesia. I mean, this is a milestone for Indonesia. Indonesia produces tons of movies, tons of horror movies every year. Very little of them travel outside. And we're very happy that, you know, this has got the international recognition it deserves. Torture porn was very big. But about about two three years ago, but that seemed to have waned a little bit. It's always big, don't worry. It's always big. <laughs> it's always big. It's always big. <laughs> Though the film is produced by a Singapore company, it was written and directed by Indonesia's Mo Brothers and stars attractive Indonesian actors, models, and VJs. According to them, Indonesia has never produced a slasher film, and this would be a first. How do you think the audience uh, in Indonesia will take to that level of violence? Mm. Well, actually, we hope they're gonna they're gonna accept this new genre and, yeah. and enjoy it because it's something very new for Indonesian for the Indonesian movie industry. Has anyone thrown up or lose their appetite after watching the film? Because I know some of the reporters did. They couldn't eat after watching. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of my friends. Yeah. No, not for me. I don't know. No. You've got cool friends. I've got cool friends. <laughs> this is the most violent Indonesian film you yourself have ever seen. Well, I, I would say so. Yeah. I would say so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say so. And, and and we try to make it as real as, as possible, and more more uh, more real. Yeah. Oh, the blood, the color yeah. of the blood. We make it very serious. The yes. team, are, uh, the special effect, make, they're very committed with their job. They're very serious, right? Yes. Making your burn. Yes. Do you reckon it's going to be controversial? I yeah, think actually, so, yes. yeah. I think so. Yeah. In the next clip, we get up close and personal with the leading ladies of Dara.